YouTube channel. Today's class will be learning how to make this beautiful spiral flounce leaf. It's a very simple tutorial and it's a combination of a flounce and a pencil sleeve and it's beginner friendly. If this is something you would like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. To make this leaf, we're going to create our flounce first. So to do this, I'm going to be using the spiral flounce. You can use the regular flounce. Or, or you can cut it on bias if you don't have enough fabric but I'm just going to create my spiral plant so to create your flyers, flyers plant sorry, I'm going to get my center point so here I'm going to get my center point by ruling vertically first and then horizontally Okay, so I've ruled my line like this now. So this is my center point. So here now, from the center point, I'm going to mark one inch round and then use that to create a small circle. So I have one inch all round like this. And then my fabric is folded into two because I'm going to be lining this. So I'm cutting the main fabric and the lining together. So I have my circle like this. So you choose one of it, you go to the midpoint, I'm going to mark it, and then I'm going to go to the circle right next to the one that the portion. Remember this is divided into four now. So I've picked this now, and then I'm going to go to the one right next to the one that I picked. And then I'm going to note the circle point also, then I'm going to measure the length of my flounce. So I want this flounce to be four inches long, it depends on you and what you want. So next, the next thing is to do is to connect from this first point here to the four inches that I have. You can use your free hand like I'm doing or you can use a curve to create this circle. So if you have a curve that can do this for you, you can use it. So after creating it, the next thing is for you to start measuring your 4 inches all around. So I have 4 inches here, 4 inches, I'm going to measure it all around and then I'm going to connect it. So you can see me measuring this and then I'm connecting it. So that's how you're going to be creating your flounce all around. So here again from this zero, remember it's not from here again, from this zero, I measure the 4 inches again and then I'm going to connect. So when you finish the first cycle, the, your 4 inches is going to start from where you have your last cycle, which is here. I'm not starting from here again. So here again, I'm going to start measuring another 4, 4 inches all around. So that is what you're going to do till you have the desired length that you need. Okay. So 4 inches here again, 4 inches all around. So I'm just measuring this now and then I'm going to connect all of it. Okay, so I have my spiral flounce completed like this. The next thing is for me to cut my flounce out. So to cut this now, all you just need to do is follow the markings that you already have. So the excess that I have here, I'm going to cut it off now before I start with my flange proper. So all of this is going to go up. So the excess stops here. So my flange is going to start from here. So I'm just going to cut this now. So whatever I'm cutting now, you can see they are all equal now. So that's my actual flange. So now I'm going to start cutting it from here and then I'm going to follow the line. So I just used my pin to hold it so that I'm not going to lose my lining and main fabric. I don't need to arrange it. I'm just going to go ahead and sew it straight. So if you want to fold it into to make sure you fold it right side facing right side so that I can just take this to your sewing machine and then just sew it straight. You are not going to need to arrange it again because it may be a bit challenging. So once you put them on top of each other, you already have them together like what I have here. So I'm going to cut this now. Then after cutting it, I'm going to bring in my crinoline and then I'm going to use it to sew it on the hem. So that can give me that spiral effect that I need. So I'm just cutting around the flowers now. Okay, so I'm working with this two inches crinoline, and I'm going to place it on the hem like this. 
and then take it to my sewing machine and then sew around it so your crinoline is a bit stretchy so you don't need to drag it you just let it follow its own course you place it like this and then sew it around the hem so now the fabric is not so strong if you have interfacing like gum stay or soft gum stay you can just iron it on your fabric before you cut out your flounce so that's make, going to make it strengthen the fabric i don't have any interfacing right now that's why i'm just using my fabric but if you have it it's going to make the work a lot easier for you so you just fuse it to it by ironing it before you place your crinoline and sew it around so i'll go to the machine now sew the crinoline and then bring you back to show us what we have so I've gone ahead to sew the crinoline to it. As you can see now, it's on the hem round. So the next thing is for me to turn it like this, and then you take it to your ironing table or iron and iron it flat, or you can just top stitch on it, which is what I'm going to be doing. So now, after top stitching on it to make it relax well, you can now take this to your serger to serge it to make sure that it is this on this upper part you can just fold in your seam allowance also and top stitch on it you just want it to be neat on this side because it may likely show so now i'm going to go over to the machine now and top stitch on this i'm going ahead to top stitch on it and you can see how flat it is laying now like i said you can also iron it if you don't want to see the seam line but you can see that it's top stitch very close to the hem so also you just need to make sure that this other upper part is also neat you can serge it or just fold in your seam allowance and so on it i just left this because it's a tutorial so just make sure it's neat because it may show so the next thing i'm going to do now is to go ahead and pleat this now on my sewing machine so i'm just going to pleat round it then bring it back to show us how we're going to fix this on the sleeve okay so now i've pleated it and this is what we have you can pleat it as you go but i just feel this makes the work easier so now i have my basic sleeve drafted here this is where i'm going to be placing this flounce i have it like this and this is what the basic sleeve looks like so now i'm going to measure this is a long sleeve you don't know how to draft a basic sleeve i already have a tutorial on it on the channel so i want the flounce to stop around the elbow area so i'm just going to measure up to my elbow length and for me this is around 11 inches so i'm going to mark that point now and then i'm going to rule a straight line there to know where to stop my flounce i hope you can see this stroke okay so now this flounce is going to stop where we have this line the next thing is to mark out the lines that we need to place this flounce so now from the upper part i'm going to leave one or half an inch for sewing this to my blouse so now i'm going to measure that all around and then that's where i'm going to start placing the flounce so now i'm going to connect this marking okay let me get on that okay so this is the starting point and this is where the flounce stops so now between each flounce is depending on the amount of fabric you have to work with but if it's close together it's going to make it really full so you can do like half half inch interval of one inch but because i don't have too much fabric i'm just going to measure one inch interval and just draw my line so that is the line that i'm going to be placing the flounce on so you can actually measure like i'm doing or you can just eyeball it so i'm just placing this mark so that by the time i get to the sewing machine i will know what i'm sewing and i will not be confused so i'm just marking like this to indicate the lines that i'm going to follow so you mark it but make sure that your marking doesn't go beyond the elbow line that we have drawn so you can see the marks that i have there already i hope you can see this so after marking them all through the next thing now is to go over to the sewing machine and place our plants so now like i said remember that you must have made sure that this place is neat so here i'm just going to fold this to the the same allowance is going to face me, be facing this side and then i'm going to place my sewing uh, my flounce and then sew on it round like this so when i get to this point i'm going to turn it again and sew that was why i said you should make sure that this place is neat so now i'll take it to the same machine and just sew along these lines 
I hope you can see these lines that I've marked there. So I don't want this to be too long. That's why I already pleated it. So I don't need to pleat again. I'm just going to go ahead now and sew it. So when I sew on these lines, I'll bring it back so that we can see what it looks like. Okay, so now I just want to show us what I've done so far. I've sewn it and you can see that the upper part is neat because we bended it and then it's folding towards the hem so this is what i have so far i've done like four lines but i've exhausted the fabric that i have like i said if you want it really full in fact if you have enough fabric and just do like half an inch so that you're not going to see any fabric so it's going to make it even fuller so this is what my fabric can do and i don't i'm i've run out of my purple fabric so i just got this uh this lilac fabric and then i did it the same way we did this and also i've gone ahead to to pleat it so i'm just going to use it to complete like one two three four five i have five lines to go so i'm going to go ahead to use it to complete it but while sewing it when i get to the five fifth line i'm going to make sure that whatever i'm sewing is going to be like this so that by the time i fold this upwards the right the right side the seam allowance sorry the seam allowance is going to be inwards like what we have here i hope you understand this remember when we were starting we made sure that we did not put the seam allowance on this side so that it's not going to show so the same thing when i want to finish this off i'll make sure that the seam allowance is facing towards the upper part so that by the time i flip it this part is going to be also neat I had to sew it and this is what I have so far. You can see how full it is looking. I can see that this other side is also neat. So if you're doing yours, make sure you use a single fabric or else you want something like this. So it is full now. The next thing to do now is to join the side seam together and I'll take it to a mannequin to see what it looks like. So now you can see that when I was sewing it, I left my seam allowance to join it on the side seam. So I'm just going to take them against each other now, sew it. And then take it to the mannequin so that we'll see what it looks like. This is what the flounce. This is what the flounce looks like on the mannequin. You can see the fullness of the flounce, and we used one one inch apart, so you can see. So if you want it fuller, you can do more or less depending on what you want. But this is reasonable, and it's looking really lovely. So this is the pencil part of the sleeve, and this is the full view. Or what this sleeve looks like i hope you enjoyed making this tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i will see you in the next one bye